In this video in the series on B4J, we're going to take a look at one of the examples provided to us by Anywhere Software and modify the code and show you what I mean by downloading um, examples and uh, code snippets and samples of other people's software that they have developed and shared and modifying that code in order to learn how to develop. Now the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to connect our B4 bridge via our script within the Raspberry Pi, and then we're going to go ahead and launch the B4J IDE. As soon as the IDE launches, let's go ahead and pull up a traffic light example that was provided to us as an example of uh, IoT by Anywhere Software. First thing we'll do is go ahead and connect the B4J bridge. As you'll note down here, now it's connected, and so we can debug uh, remotely. We'll go ahead and compile this app, and let's, let's take a look at the output on the circuit board connected to the Raspberry Pi. If you'll note, the sequence of the blinking lights is like a traffic light. That is what was intended by the developers of this particular code. And now we're going to go back into the IDE and take a look at how we modify this code in order to make something that's uniquely our own while we're learning uh, what the code actually means and how it relates to the output on the Raspberry Pi and via um, through to the circuit board. What I've done here, the code that is in green is remarked out or commented out. What I'm going to do is comment out the code that was provided by Anywhere Software and uncomment out the code that I wrote in order to do something different than was originally intended. And this will make a lot of sense once we actually run the example. If you'll note, when we did the review of the IDE back in video two or three, we learned how to block comment and block uncomment. I'm also going to block uncomment some logs. This will also make more sense in a moment. Let's go ahead and uncomment that. And then the last thing that we want to uncomment is the sequence of the light. So instead of it going through its normal pattern, it will randomly select which LED is next in the sequence. So we will uncomment. We can do it from here. But really, since it's just one line, we can actually go ahead and just comment and uncomment by putting an apostrophe. So now that this is done, we go ahead and save. And if you'll note, the changes we made, there's some indicators that go from yellow to green, noting that we have saved our changes so that when we compile, those changes are incorporated into the new app. And now if you'll note, the pattern of the LEDs is completely different as well as we have a log file that is recording the duration and whether the red, yellow, and green lights are on or off. The last thing we want to do is just properly shut down our Raspberry Pi and we're ready to uh, download some samples and modify our own code and have fun. Thank you.